Hey guys, oh wait, hi. Sorry guys. <laughs> hey guys, Rachel here. Today, I have another box that will appear in my very hand. And three, two, one. <sighs> okay, well, that's done. We have ourselves today another Tinker Crate from Kiwi Cove. And today, it is, we are going to be making our own, technically my own, but we're going to be making our own Kind Gram machine. Explore animation with the machine that turns drawings into, into moving pictures. Oh my god. I never, I've never even heard of a Kind Gram machine. So I, I hear how the screen is just glaring in my glasses and you can never see my eyes. And then, this, we have, I have the, the marks right here, so, wait, yeah, I see them a little bit, okay, but otherwise, guys, let's burn to it, now, a knife magically appears in my hand, <clears throat> okay, got me a knife now, so now what we do is we cut the box is we cut the box of tape open. I said no, I want to do that again. Even though I already broke the tape, I just want to do that again. There we go. <laughs> just for funsies. Oh yeah. Also, let me turn my ringer off on my phone so it doesn't interrupt anything. Also, I should probably make a little bit of space on the table. Ah. Let's see here. Actually, you know what? This will probably give better audio of me. So you guys can hear me better now. Hopefully. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Okay. Well. I need to... This over here, this over here. Okay, um, I'm, let me just move my mouse, I'll put this over here. Okay. Let's see what we have ourselves in this very box. Okay. Oh, now I know what this is. See what this is, guys? You see what that is? This book, this, um, this peanut, this, the peanuts book that I have, the kind gram book, as you guys can see here, whenever you open this up, some people will, some people will start to do his own little thing, but, and then, on the next page, it's, um, it's, oh my god, I can never remember the names anymore. I haven't watched the Peanuts in so long. And then, he's, he's fun as kite. I can't remember it. Oh, Charlie. How how can you forget Charlie Brown's name? And then, you have Charlie and the other one. Jump rope in for Lucy. Oh yeah, I should also be probably reading these things. So, for Charlie's page, it says... Sometimes there are things that you just can't resist doing from Snoopy. In the jump rope page, it says life is more than just lying around from Lucy. Here you have, oh, you have Snoopy walking around with the, oh wow, the twins of um, oh god, I can never, I can never remember the little teeny tiny bird's name. They're like this big, probably in real life. <laughs> There's something very exciting about going on a journey from Snoopy. Um. <laughs> dog lips! I've been kissed by dog lips! Y you guys should already know who this is. I, I actually didn't even get to see what the animation was that time. Um, I'm gonna try and read this upside down. Life is too short not to live it. 
not to live it up a little. And then here you have the two kids partying. I can never remember the other girl's name either. Um, <laughs> good grief from Charlie Brown. <laughs> uh, obviously, as you guys can tell, once I open this. It's pretty obvious what is about to happen. Whoop! <laughs> okay, then she just did it a million times when I did that all the way. And then there's an art in knowing how to be the life of the party from Snoopy. Okay. Um, last few pages. I never knew that life could be so beautiful. And Peppermint Patty. Oh, this is, this is the last page except for the next one. Oh, is that? I gotta, I gotta do this. <laughs> okay, and then the next page being the last but not least page is To Dance is to Live from Snoopy. Basically, this is full of fortunes, <laughs> except for good grief. <laughs> it's not really a fortune. <laughs> Maybe this last page is, but look at this. Okay, since I've been making you guys wait, just showing you a kind grand book. And this is actually a scanimation book, it's called, on the book, but so kind grand. Um, yeah, but since I've been... Forcing you guys to watch all that. Now, I'm gonna get to keeping on unboxing this, so our Kind Grand Machine instruction booklet, Kind Grand Cartoons, the our Tinker Design, um, Kind Grand Cartoons. Let's go flop you over here. Then go for you. And then we have ourselves some plastic pieces focus it's actually if I get this angle then you can actually see this um we have ourselves some short and long ended nail imaging thingies I've actually cut myself with these things once by accident all of my other projects, which I'm pretty sure I've recorded most of my projects, but can't have worn most, but I haven't posted them yet. Um, tectonic wooden pieces over here. Okay, and then we have ourselves the actual pictures themselves. You can tell why the shark looks like that. <laughs> and then we have ourselves the paper that's at the bottom. Meaning that there is nothing else inside of the box to actually see. So let me just go empty something out real quick. To do a trick shot with my, I'm trying to do a trick shot with my bucket again. Ugh. <laughs> Not even close. Actually, I shouldn't do that though, because Simon's over there in that cage over there. I know it's very bright, but that's because of his heat lamp. But I remember mentioning in my Fortnite live stream that I just did last night that. He was, um, what is it? I think it was actually the night before last I did it, where he was in the background. But that is his cage over there. But over there. 
all lit up though, cause we got the heat lamp and the UV light bulb. Also, a UV tube, a UVB tube is not a thing. It's a UVB light. Okay. Grab our instructions. Just gonna leave that box there. And yeah, let's burn to it. Okay, this is just our little starter page. Now we are into the instructions. Okay, and it's this way. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I just closed it. No, it just opened. Oh. Okay, so part A is to build a crank, and part B is to build a stand. And then part C is to add the screen. Okay, so part A, we will need a crank wheel, posts, short bolt, a crank mount, a short stand piece, a peg wheel, and a long bolt. So let me go get all of that. Really, I'm not going getting it. I'm just sitting here getting it because, well, <laughs> it's obviously all right next to me. Technically in front of me and next to me, but you know what I mean. I've already found a connection, I think, except it's not really staying like this. Fidget spinner. I've, I've brought a I've brought the fidget spinners back. Actually, I'll be back in a second. Ugh, okay, I'm back with a fidget spinner. But not only that, not just any kind of a fidget spinner, but See these little things? Little buttons? It is an LED fidget spinner. Can't really see it all that well. Actually, I have an idea. I might fix that. Okay, so I know that you guys can barely see anything, and I look really creepy. The only thing that you can really see is what is. Simon's cage back there, but barely you can just barely see the fitted spinner because of all the white pieces. Now you really can only see through it. But look at it now. And look at it now. Now we have a party in here. Plus, not only that, this actually looks cool in two ways. You can do it from here, also has its own little pattern. You just can't really see it because my camera can't really focus on it. And then from here, it is different. And then switch the patterns. Back end again. Front end again. You know, think of the disco bombs from Fortnite. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Uh, disco fever, and then four, wait, one, two, so one, two, three, two, three, and then for this combination, we have right here, and then right here. Um, I'm be curious to say something. Oh yeah, also, oh, that this was this was on the wrong. What was it? Here we go. Wait. Um, oh, I didn't know it wasn't, it was just part of the thing. Okay, also guys, you could also put 1 to 1, 1 to 2, and then 1 to 3, and then it'll look like this from the back end, which again, I know you guys can't really see it all that well, and then this from the front end. Basically, now you have a mix of all of them. Okay, um, how about I turn all of the lights back on so that you guys can see again. Especially with the fact that it's been 14 minutes and I haven't done anything. Or then goof around. Wait a sec. Okay, how about we get to work? Because again, I've done nothing at all. Um, 
Also, guys, this is probably gonna be a really long video now with the fact that not only have I wasted time, but this, but these also make is especially if I like for me, these normally take like an hour or two to make, and if I don't buy this, then it's gonna be another hour or two plus the time that has already been in the video. So first of all. Um, I need to get all messed up. Probably all just in here, so I'll probably just drop all that. Yeah, every, everything except for the wooden post. Uh, not the wooden post, the, wo the short stand piece, which is wood. <laughs> Screw on pieces. Um. Of course it's gonna take me a million years to open because you have to package it this way. You can't it's not one of the um flip the flip plastic ones, it's one of the um ones like those McDonald toy packages. Okay. How about I just take out all the wood pieces so I can try and find this thing. Nope. I think I found it. Here we go. Now I've opened it. Okay, short stand piece. So first of all, what we're gonna want to do is make a to make a handle. Use a short bolt to screw a post into the small hole on in the crank wheel. So post and then the crank wheel. Wait, post. Crank wheel. Oh, and then I just put there the short bolt there. So the bolt and screw it in right there. Now it should look like this. Also, this is the um, this is the post. This is the short bolt. Then we have to fit the crank mount into the two holes in the short stand piece from the other side screw a post onto each end of the crank of the crank mount so the small fly so the small side face out okay so we get this plus this and then we put it into these three holes and it equals this and then set the left to short end or facing out, okay. And now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna screw this in right here and then repeat for the and then repeat the exact same thing on the other side. And it looks like that's all the posts. <laughs> Okay, and now from the back, poke the peg wheel into the crank mount. Okay, so peg wheel. Wait, uh, okay, this is peg wheel, and then we stick it into here. I I made a a very non-functional fidget spinner. Ah, can't can't fidget spin. <laughs> okay, um, so we have. Oh, is there, wait. Big wheel. Big turn. Oh, wait. No, it is from here, isn't it? And then make sure the peg and, and the handle line up. Set the crank wheel through the crank mount and onto the peg wheel. The handle should line up with the peg. Oh, I got it now. Um, I actually don't get it. Wait. So. What? 
Oh, that's why, because I screwed it on on the wrong side. It didn't tell me what direction to screw this on on. Okay, so now we put this here. Okay, now it works. Okay, and now we have to do step five being poke the long bolt through the crank wheel and screw it into the peg wheel. And tighten the bolt until the wheel don't wiggle. Okay, so long bolt with the crank wheel. Okay, no more wiggle. Um, now we have to stop and check. Try turning the crank. If the wheels don't spin smoothly, loosen the long bolts until they do so. Uh, loosen it up a little bit. Okay, now this is now this is spinning smoothly. There we go. Okay, so now we need to go to part B, which is building the stand. So for this section, let me just place these in here. Um step one is we turn wait a second. Yeah, so we turn the crank mechanism around, stick a sticky foam square. Oh wait a second, no, we, we need to get oh god, I need to look at what we need first. <laughs> okay, so we need the crank mechanism from part A. Sticky foam squares. Gotcha. Slider piece. Got you. Sticky foam spacers, I'm pretty sure are also in here, yep. The tall stand piece. Some more short bolts. Okay, I should actually get these back out now. Good thing I did not lose those. Except for the third one, where'd, where'd that go? <laughs> oh, that's right there. <laughs> ah, that could have went, that could have ended bad. Okay. So what we are going to want to do is first of all we need to turn the crank miss but we step one is turn the crank mechanism around stick a sticky foam square above each of the legs on each of the slots on the legs well no not on above okay so Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's always so hard to find the actual thing itself that you have to open these things with. Okay, so, we need to get the sticky foam squares and put them above each of the holes. Okay, step two, grab the slider piece, and then stick a sticky foam spacer around each of the two holes on top, okay? Okay. Stick this right here. Actually, wait a second. I need to try and get this piece out right here.
There we go. Okay, and now we need to do the other one. Give it time off, you need to. Uh, I need a pencil. Even a pen will work. Um, oh, pencil. Yeah, I just thought I'd be sharp enough. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Pencil. Right, go hide. So, now what we do is we take this one here. Is that any of these to not be hanging over the edge? Kind of hanging over a little bit. There we go. Um, now, for step three, we need to fit the slider piece onto the crank mechanism. The upright slot fits onto the peg, and the sideways slots fit onto the post. So, go here, and then turn this to be here. Oh, you go right here. Okay. Wait. Oh, I think I know what this is supposed to do. Yup, this does do this. <laughs> so think of the way how the steering wheel mechanism works. Like, the, um, the steering wheel mechanism works in a car. That's basically how this works. So pretend that this is the axle and that... that. <laughs> it's obviously not tightened on. So, and then the other end is the steering wheel, and obviously for this it's going to keep on going in different directions, but this is basically how the axle works. The axle is supposed to be pushing the wheel, so from where I'm looking at it, I'm turning, they're pushing the wheels to the left, not to the right, the left, the right, left, right, left, right, left, and then fell. <laughs> Obviously, because again, it's not secured on yet. Okay, but now you guys know how a steering wheel works if you did not know already. Okay, and now what we need to do. Oh, oh, oh is that out? <laughs> I thought that we were already done with this part. I was like, wait, and what? That went by quick. <laughs> okay, and then we need to do where the next part of step three is make sure that the foam on the slider faces away from the handle. Okay, they are. Um, the slider will be loose until you're in step five. Okay, good to know. Okay, um, now in step four, grab the tall stand piece. Oh, this actually looks cool. <laughs> no, like, like this? <laughs> I can barely even do it with this thing. It was so light and thin. <laughs> okay, so, I can do this. Okay, I'm just gonna stop doing that. I can do this with, my, with one of my nerfs. Um, where is it? Okay, I won't show it. I can't find it, but I can't do it with this since it's so light. Get it. <sighs> okay, um, now what we are going to do is we're going to grab the 
Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> You're going to get the tall, tall sand piece and then stick a sticky foam donut around each of the two circle holes. Okay, now I'm getting hungry. This one down to here. And then get another one. And then stick it on. Also, the piece I'm taking out is this thing. So expect it to be in here. Like this. So you're going to want to push it out. <laughs> Trying to stick it on. There we go. <laughs> so you just smack stuck it on. <laughs> just imagine that. Smack sticking it right smack in the middle. <laughs> imagine that. Imagine doing that. Okay, um. So. Now we need to turn it around and then on the other side stick a sticky foam square around each of the leg slots. But yeah, we also need a stand feet, which I already have. Um which is for step five or step six. Wait. Yeah, step six. Just gonna stick these Actually really I can't stick them but I'm just gonna put them right there like that. Go enjoy being a foot table now. <laughs> um, get the sticky foam squares again. Sticky foam squares again! Uh, whoop. Well, I just did two at once. Okay, now I'm just going to pop you over there. And then, for step 5, starting to get a little bit heavier, for step 5, fit the tall stand piece onto the crank mechanism by, sli by sliding the sticky foam donuts onto the posts. Screw it together with the short bolts. Okay. Uh, whoop. Oh. <laughs> of course it came off. Uh, let's see here. So, whoop. Wait. Okay, so now that we have put this here, once we screw it on, now this piece will be staying secure. So let's get ourselves two small bolts and then stick them in. Like lick 'em stick 'ems. <laughs> because they're not lick 'em stick 'ems, they're short 'em bolt short 'em bolt -ums. No, this one this is actually being made a lot quicker than I thought. Not only these take me an hour, oh. it's only been almost oh, wait, wait. No, it's actually been more. So it will it has already been, let's see here, so if I started at, I'd say 15 minutes, so it's already been 18 minutes. So, um, let's see here, <laughs> this just looks so cool. Legit, all I can think of whenever I do this is just axles in a vehicle. <laughs> okay, um, now what we're gonna do is... We are going to do step six, being slide the stand feet onto the stand piece so the slots connect. So we are going to do like so, as it tells us. Um, and then 
put the this way and then go to this end and then push it again since it's not long and then push it now push it again since it's now right and then stick it on now it is on this side on. it literally it can't go on not letting me because of the stupid phone pieces. How dare you do this to me? Oh, then I have to get them onto the phone pieces. Ah, I forgot. There we go. Okay, now we need to get the other piece. Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> Here it is. My my table is wood, so that's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> my table is wood. These pieces are wood. Makes that it makes everything confusing now. down. What about I try and put it on sideways a little bit. Here we go. Kinda, sorta. Here we go. Okay, and now we can do this while it's... Now we can do this, but... Holding up. Oh. Now we can do this while it's standing up with these two little feet. Oh shoot, that one, that one can go all the way. I don't know why the other one isn't. There we go. There we go. Now this is better. This is already fun without even using pictures. Okay, um, now, stop and check. Check that the bolts on the back aren't too tight. Loosen them until the slider can slide. Well, it already can, so. I guess that means that's the right way. Uh, but, um, let's see here. Now for part C, with it, wait, the stand will lean back with its feet on, that's what it's supposed to do, okay. So now for, for part C, we will need ourselves, to get ourselves, the completed stand from part B, the frame, the brads, and the string, that's what they're called, the things I come myself with the one time by accident. Brad. Oh, here it is. <laughs> so hard to find. It's as if they made it baby proof. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I just gotta see. Oh my god. This looks crazy. You know, if you do it like this, then you can. Wait, if you do it. Oh, wait a minute. You can't really see it that well from my camera, can you? Um. Okay, now I can. If you do it too fast. My okay, god. I need there to be no shine. Is there any way to lower my screen brightness or something? <laughs> God. So, if you do it too fast, then it'll just stay in place. But if you do it slow enough, then it'll actually look like it's in action. An abiding shark. Let's see what this looks like. I 
And then it's supposed to be a bolt. Yeah, it's supposed to bolt. It's supposed to be a pulsing heart. Oh my god, this is so trippy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shoot. I I just saw. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there are pixels on my screen. I just saw them in illusion. Wait. I actually just saw them in like an illusion mode. Of course not one will do it, but I swear though, I actually saw an illusion. Oh my god. Now this, this is just pure trippiness. If you do it cornered, you can see the lines. So it's obviously supposed to be this way. Okay, um, I've been wasting time doing absolutely nothing other than messing around with this. With when I, even while it's not even finished, well, even while I haven't even finished up the project yet, so okay. Um, so we're gonna need these and then the bread and deer. So we'll give me the bread, 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 bread. Okay, um, I'm just gonna keep these in the bag, just in case, for how many I need. So, step one is to grab the frame and line up the hole at the bottom with the slots on, in the stand piece. Um, I'm sure I'm not doing this. Okay, so here. Slots on the stand piece. Um, oh, here. Okay, put bread through the holes and slots. Okay, um, okay, right here. No, don't fall out. Okay. And now I need to secure the brass by doing this with them. Okay. Now I repeat and do so with the other one. I do so with the other one. I repeat what I just did. Okay. And then what I'm supposed to do is oh god wait a second am i supposed to put this like this <laughs> no because it pushes it off <laughs> okay um then now what i'm supposed to do is i need to open up the frame and slide the screen or slide in the screen okay make sure that the holes are aligned right there okay i don't know when i I said I paused the video, but again, here it is doing this action. In case I did not get that on camera. There we go. Now we have light. Need to turn it slowly in order for it to actually look like it's doing anything. But now, um, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe. I will be uploading a video of all the Tinker Crates I have made very, very soon, including the two that I've already uploaded, being this one I just made and uh, this game right here is also a trip wire alarm thing majig. But again, if you have all enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, I'm burned to it. I'm out.